Hi friends, are you eagerly waiting for the answer key for CSAR net which, uh, exam which you have write, written yesterday? TA Bear Academy is today presenting uh, the answer key with complete ex detailed explanation. Uh, in each video we will discuss five question each. We will complete the question today itself in multiple videos. So let's start the discussion first question which one of the following parameters is not used in phenetic classification of bacteria tropism susceptibility of a bacteria to a particular bacteria phage reaction to a particular antibody and 16s rna sequence the right answer is the option number four that is the 16 is rRNA sequence usually phenetic classification um, in uh, uses phenotypic characteristics for the classification of bacteria 16 is rRNA sequencing is a um, uh, phylogenetic uh, method for the classification of bacteria it is used uh, it used molecular methods for the uh, characterization of bacteria in phenetic classification phenotypic characteristics are used the characterization system succeeded in bringing together to biological diversity and clarified function of the morphological structures usually morphological structures has been evaluated that uh, such as motility and flagella is always associated with a particular microorganism reasonable to suppose the flagella are involved in at least one type of motility you, um, if the flagella is present or not if motility is present or not like that um, uh, depending on the molecular uh, depending on the morphological characters uh, characters the bacteria is classified in phenetic classification uh, but in 16 rRNA the molecular classification is being carried out so the ans answer is option number four here we can see a phenetic classification in which gram-negative bacteria is classified based on their growth in tear martin medium as well as growth in glucose, growth in canamycin and growth in glucose maltose, growth in penicillin like that. Um, uh, based on their morphological characteristics, whether they grow in a particular media or whether they grow, um, whether ca they can uh, be resistant to a particular antibiotic, whether they can utilize a particular sugar like that, um, uh, morphologically classification can be uh, said as phenetic identification. Let us see the second question. It is known that there is a large difference in the DNA content between two organisms with similar developmental complexity. This is due to large difference in the number of transversible elements, repetitive DNA and coding sequence, transversible element and repetitive DNA, introns and coding sequence, introns and transversible elements. We can see that genes that probably shared a common developmental complexity may be duplicated or removed in a specific species with between different species um, genes can be duplicated or removed some genes can be removed there may be specific duplication or losses of genes between two species um, sharing common developmental complexity tandem duplication and gene clusters and genomic reorganization can occur this indicates repetitive dna coding dna and transversible element can play an important role in bringing about the difference between two organisms DNA content. So the answer is option number one. That is a transversal element, coding DNA as well as uh, the repetitive DNA. Let's move to the third question. Protein conformational dynamics cannot be uh, determined by I, which one of the following techniques? NMR spectroscopy, differential scanning calorimetry, mass spectroscopy and uh, fluorescent uh, microscopy which of the these techniques cannot be used for uh, determining protein conformational dynamics a protein is not rigid uh, compound however rather it can undergo a variety of fast vibrations and structural rearrangement later being the conformational transitions Conformational changes, the protein conformational changes 
can occur. Protein is not a uh, rigid compound, it is a dynamic compound. It can undergo conformational changes. Usually NMR spectroscopy is used to detect these protein conformational dynamics. Differential scanning calorimetry provides information about thermal stability and to some extent serve as the structural fingerprint that can be used to assess the structural conformation. In uh, coming to mass spectroscope, mass uh, spectrometry, a cross-linking mass spectrometry or mass spectroscopy method uh, is the combination uh, in combination with electrochemistry and isotope labeling strategy of uh, for probing both um, protein three-dimensional structure as well as conformational changes can be determined by mass spectrometry. Fluorescent microscopic uh, imaging methodologies such as fluorescent lifetime plim variants of FRET, fluorescent resonance energy transfer can be used um, for uh, as well as scanning um, cysteine accessibility methods CAM can be used for determining the protein conformation and protein protein interaction etc. So uh, um, these four techniques are used for determining the protein uh, conformational trans uh, transitions in uh, one way or other. But coming to the differential scanning calorimetry, um, it, it is mainly used for um, calculating the thermal stability and to some extent only it can be used for determining the protein conformation. Conformational dynamics cannot be studied by differential scanning calorimetry. So differential scanning calorimetry or DSC is the um, uh, correct option, is option number two. Coming to the fourth question, acnomycin D inhibits the process of transcription in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic organism. The following statements are made about acnomycin D mediated inhibition of transcription. Acnomycin D inhibited transcription from um, a double stranded DNA template by either um, uh, E. coli or yeast RNA polymerase. Acnomycin D inhibits the transcription from single stranded RNA template by uh, eukaryotic uh, viral RNA polymerase. Acnomycin D inhibit transcription from single standard uh, 5x174 um, uh, DNA template by E. coli RNA polymerase immediately after viral DNA entry. Acnomycin D inhibit the transcription from um, uh, uh, double standard RNA templates by eukaryotic RNA polymerase 2. Which of these combinations are correct? This is uh, a uh, question which you are getting here. Acnomycin D is uh, um, also known as Dactinomycin structure is shown here. It is synthesized by Streptomyces bacteria. The Acnomycin uh, D binds to DNA template uh, strand and blocks the movement of RNA polymerase. This is the mechanism of inhibition, um, inhibition shown by the Acnomycin D. It binds to the DNA template strand and block the movement. It stops the movement of RNA uh, polymerase. This is a very well um, used antibiotic in treating tumors. So we can say that an uh, option uh, one, that is the A, uh, is the correct answer. Coming to the fifth and final co um, question in this video, the G protein coupled receptor GPC as are used to detect and respond to many different um, types of signal, including neurotransmitters, hormones involved in um, glycogen and fat metabolism and even uh, photons of light. Which one of the following statements are incorrect? GPCs are large family with common structure of uh, seven membrane spanning alpha helices. Um, GPCs are um, uh, coupled uh, to trimeric G protein comprises of uh, uh, three subunit alpha, beta and gamma. G alpha subunit is a uh, GTPS um, switch protein um, that alternates between an active on state which bound um, GTP and active off state uh, with GDP and the own, uh, own form get bound to alpha, uh, beta and gamma subunit and activate the membrane bound effect like adenylase cyclase, phospholipase C and ion channel. Coming to GPCR we can see here um, uh, it is um, 7 transmembrane alpha helices and the G protein contain alpha, beta and gamma subunit. The G protein get activated by, by uh, G alpha binding to GTP. And then um, uh, the, uh, according to the fourth option, uh, the own state of uh, alpha subunit binds to the beta and gamma subunit, but this is not the case. The alpha subunit separate from the uh, gamma, beta and gamma and binds to the analyzed cyclase and activate it. 
so the um, uh, correct answer is option 4 thank you for viewing this video um, uh, we will come with multiple videos the next question next five questions will be analyzed in next video like that we will come with multiple um, videos and uh, uh, we will answer all the questions today itself uh, book your seats um, uh, uh, for uh, your uh, if you are interested um, book your seats uh, at TABR Academy TABR Academy is conducting a six months intensive uh, coaching for CSGR Net Life Sciences TABR Academy is located at Cochin and uh, if in, uh, you need to book the seats before uh, June 23rd only you can get the seats because uh, we have only limited seats uh, so book your seats now itself the classes will start at July 14th thank you for viewing the video please subscribe to this channel thank you